What's up guys, in today's video I want to go over some Ega Slash gameplay with you guys. Since he, he received a small nerf, but I think he's still very powerful. I really like the X attack recently, so I also want to talk about this a bit. For the rest of the bit, I'm running Muscle Band, Attack Weight, and Buddy Barrier. I decided to go Buddy Barrier lately just because I felt like every time I went to my Unite move a lot of times, I just died. And that initial shield that Buddy Barrier gives just allows me to not just instantly die trying to cast my Unite. I felt like very frustrated about it, so I switched out the focus ban for Body Barrier, and since then I've been getting my Unite offs much more often. So the X attack is just, you know, we get to four boost out attacks, we press X attack, and we just try to slice someone into pieces. So for early game, of course, we want attack weight stacks. We're going for this first, going on the enemy side, gonna try and shadow sneak this. I should have probably done it a bit later, right? Like it's, I should get the last of the shadow sneak. I shouldn't try to get with the boosted auto attack. Use max attack there just to do a bit faster since we're not gonna fight this. I don't have focus bend, so I do not want to fight the opponents right now. With focus bend, you can go for these early game fights. Without focus bend, you have to be a bit careful. Try and go for this A pom now. There we go, there's our shadow sneak damage and we get it pretty fast. Again, kiting back a bit our junglers here. Now we can go back in, hit a shadow sneak. On the slow bro, and we're able to take him down. Now I can could could look for another stack, but we don't see the jungler yet. But our jungler walks up, so just going for another tech bait stack. But the but champ is kind of low, trying to shadow sneak him. Sally can't get the kill, but we do get another stack. But you have to be pretty careful, even over much shop. Can do a lot of damage early game. Try to go for these beasts now. But the enemy jungle is actually here, which <laughs> wants XP share. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes that happens. Um, we try to defend our goal, Yotsa's goal getter, and we luckily take him down. Obviously, he was way too overextended. This was a pretty bad time sacred sword. They all play like kinda in invertible frames from the score. They actually have waited for the mod champ to first score and then go for a sacred sword, but we take him down anyways. Go for the next guy now. I have one coin, so I could look for another stack. Um, but I'm quite, quite low. And the enemy Slowbro actually has Skyd, so he actually can do a lot of damage to me. And Skyd is actually quite annoying for my Pokemon as well, since a lot of my damage comes from being a physical attacker, right? Or attacker Pokemon. And Skyd reduces attack damage. So if I get hit by Skyd, I have to be very careful not to unload my entire combo on someone. Otherwise, I might just not even do enough damage to take anyone down. So looking for level 7, of course. I think the level 6 to 7, you're quite weak of level 5 to level 7. Um, you know, the strongest Pokemon, you're very squishy, you really need white card. You need to, the the shield form and white card to be effective. I'm gonna get another stack here, and uh, yeah, there I just disappeared. That's that's what happens when you don't have the, you know, the shield form yet. So we just disappear kind of to the enemy, much um, quite, quite fast. But my team still gets a kill, doesn't matter what. And this Azumari didn't break the goal. He was actually one that was also my stream, and he managed to not break the goal. And that was very, very nice. And we turned 12 back door right here. We try to get a kill and we do get a kill. So now, as soon as I get level 7, I can either stay, decide to stay maybe top lane or go to bot lane. We can do one of those two things. And I'm just going to get scale the beast very fast. And afterwards, we can maybe decide to go to bot lane, depending on how bot lane looks like. So I'm going to path towards bot lane now. We don't have to kill this goal. I mean, we could. So there's two options right here. We kill the goal to Rotom and push into the second base and take all the Odinos. But it's just very hard to coordinate with someone you're not on voice, right? Otherwise, you could be doing this. But we have a nice flank right here, looking for the Sacred Sword, and we hit the Guard of Aukulia, take it down, and we just use this quick White Guard just to, you know, not take too much damage. You can find another Sacred Sword, hit him with the end of it, and we take him down. Also, the X attack pop there, and we are able to kill him much faster, waiting for my next Sacred Sword. There we go, there's the next one, and we hit another nice double Sacred Sword, and we get four kills. So, pretty pretty good counter flank from us there. And now my team has enough damage to do Red now here, so I'm just zoning. I'm just looking for another kill. Hidden the Sacred Sword, I have three boosted auto attacks, so we just go for the boosted auto attacks. And then we one more basic attack, and this guy is dead. Gonna heal up with my sword boosted auto attacks now again. I mean, yeah, no, my shield boosted auto attacks. The boosted auto attacks in shield form here. Looking for another score, we get 13 in. Um, we kind of greedy right here, so I'm gonna white guard this person. I have three boosted auto attack stacks right now, so I'm going in. I'm unite moving, there's the buddy bear cheat as well, keeping me a bit more alive. Didn't really do much there, but still quite nice. I mean, Azumari just completely murder them. I'm gonna do some small scores here just to get my Unite faster back up. And I see the red buff being up though, so I'm deciding to go for this instead. Now we're kinda a bit greedy, but in our you know sheet form we don't take too much damage. We take down another kill. And me as well just rolling over this game right now. This was a bit too deep. I still get the kill here on the curlier, but um I sadly end up dying. This guy is slowing me down too much, the flame thingy also doing damage there. And it was a bit too much. You know, there I wanted a bit too much. I just keep bullying the enemy guard of war a bit too much, but Maybe just some karma finally being taken down. It's gonna respawn. There's currently a lot of camps up. Um, I could also decide to go for these top Odinos, but my team is actually doing them. So I'm just gonna go for one buff since you know it's not being taken. I'm just gonna take one buff and then we can maybe move towards bot lane again to defend the goal as well a bit. 
So white guard to get two stacks onto a white Pokemon and to sacred sword so we have three boosted attacks onto white Pokemon, you know, to take it just down much, much faster. Jumping over here, I see my slow bro under attack. I'm gonna white guard first, just gonna try and CC something, and but he hits nice telekinesis on the Gardevoir. We do kind of get sucked in by it, but not too bad. He's going for the score now, but our Dale Fox is luckily there. It's going to take him down. Now I'm getting Slowbury Night Booth, but I have my White Guard up, so I'm going to go into it. And I want to look for some boosted auto attacks now, but I'm solo already. There's my boosted, there's my Unite Booth with the Buddy Barrier, and it actually kept me alive for quite a while. I should have probably just ran their way, but there was a good scenario as well where the Buddy Barrier actually allowed me to, you know, not instantly die by casting my Unite Move. That's just something that happens a lot, I feel like. So the, the way Unite Moves work is right, you get the shield after the moves, move is casted, right? After it has casted, you get a shield from the Unite Move always, even without Buddy Barrier. But if you have to cast your Unite move, you can die during it. So like similar to like Tarnon Flame, Cinder Ace, right? Um, you can just die mid-animation because the shield happens after the animation. That's why Buddy Barrier is still very nice on certain Pokemon, just to make sure that you don't die going to Unite move. Same for stuff like Tarnon Flame again. And here you see our damage. We did the Sacred Sword boosted with X attack and we just absolutely murder this Aura super, super fast. I actually really love this build. Might be a bit too greedy. Um, running full heal is probably always like just a very solid choice, right? I'm thinking maybe we can push this in. So I'm gonna look for a sacred sword onto the Zaora, but I sadly miss it. Going for a white guard, get four stacks right here. I'm just gonna unite move very early. And uh, but I do get jump pads done, sadly, because for some reason jump pads still done. I really wish that something I would remove. But we're still quite quite tanky here. Go back into white guard and be able to bring him off the goal. So Pretty, pretty nice. We are able to kill the second goal as well. Just being very aggressive there, playing around my cooldowns as much as, much as I can, making sure that when I go in, my white guard is also up, so that in case, you know, I drop low, I can go back into a white guard and be safe for a while. Also, being in white guard and using boosted auto attack in your sheet form will also reduce the cooldown of your sacred sword. Here, I'm just building up another boosted auto attack again. This guy comes in. He does unite with us, and, uh, but he's running completely else now. He was also super low. Gonna white guard this, gonna stay into this form, but I actually get slow brain night moved. Let's get slow brain night moved. Not much I can do there. I'm just gonna still stay in my shield form. Try to OT this, but we sadly can't do it. Sadly can't do it. You know, slow night a bit too much with the skite as well, which skite will actually reduce my healing as well, because again, um, the, the boost auto attack in the shield form also relies on basic attack damage as well a bit. So if you have less basic attack damage, you will also heal a bit less. It's actually quite annoying. It's actually quite, quite annoying. Also, have to be careful later on when I'm like in stuck in a Dead Fox Unite or something. It also reduces the healing of my boosted auto attack there. So we have 20 seconds to go. I'm pretty much level 14. Quite, quite happy. Looking for the Sorrow. I actually missed my Sacred Sword. And a Sacred Sword did receive a nerf in the last patch, right? It's now it has a bit less of a knockup again. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, um, but it's still quite, quite good. I think the one second knockup was sure a bit too much as well. Just shaking the Zara around a bit, um, looking for whatever he may recall in. Some people have very greedy recall positionings. Yeah, I'm just doing a white guard on Zepdos just to get two boosted out attacks instantly. And we're going to start trapping someone. And people always like taking this jump head a lot as well. You can always like look over and see if someone jumps maybe into your arms. But for now, I'm just being very passive, very, very safe. I want to activate my X attack, but actually I messed up right here. So apparently I didn't realize that. You, you saw me using my X attack there. If you go back, you can see me pressing the button. But why? If you're in white guard, you actually can't activate it. You can see it's now blocked out. And I actually didn't realize that. I have still just started playing X attack now. And there's a, sometimes I'm like, wait, why is it still up? Because certain moves will not allow you to use X attack. So if you're stuck in white guard or if you use white guard in the animation, you cannot activate X attack. So very important to know as well. I pressed it once there. I, th I was sure I had it, but we still deleted them anyway. It doesn't matter what. And now it's quite, quite scary though still. There are all deletes one of my characters. We do respawn now with Unite moves and I just have to buy time. Got my white guard here. I'm just going to st start saying this form. I get Unite moved again. But the slow bro pretty much still can't kill me, right? As long as I stay in this form, another white guard, and we just keep doing it. Now we have three stacks, and we're just gonna try and keep healing, try to make it to him. We heal again, we heal again, next white guard is up, and we heal again, and we heal again, and now we all do back to half HP, and he just can't kill us. We're just buying time right now. My team is doing things on top side. Um, the best thing I can do is just not die here. I can't really help them out anyways, but my team's dead three night moves up, so they do win this fight. And now Zepdos is the only thing left. They have still one Dead Fox alive, which we can kind of deal with. So I'm just going to go towards Zepdos. He's going to be chased right by the Azumarill. So it should be easy Zepdos for us. A Sacred Sword, boosted auto attack. So I look, maybe look for the last of the boosted auto attack. But we get it. Actually, the enemy Dead Fox still had United move up. So that's, you know, one guy can still 
have a chance of always stealing Zapdos away. So you're always gonna make sure you play around it as much as you can. Obviously, don't be too scared though. We still have to kill Zapdos there and we should kill Zapdos, but it should be controlled and always look out like which target is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We can look at the damage number as well, of course, for the boys. There we go, 79,000 damage. I really like my Azumar with this game. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.